Thank you for sitting down with me. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for having us on. Blaze, you're known for being a wildly popular singer-songwriter. That's me. But you're also known as the face of Deception Cosmetics. Also me. Busy woman. Tell me about it. Is it safe to say you're used to being written about in the headlines? I am. But probably not headlines like the most recent ones. No. If you haven't been following the story, Blaze's career took a hit with the viral posting of an unauthorized recording. Is that correct? It is. Can you tell us about it? The recording was of my mother, who was discussing the fact that I'm gay. Not just discussing the fact that you're gay, but talking about it in a disparaging way, specifically in regards to your relationship with Christina. That's correct. Christina, you've been openly gay for some time. I have. And you were the driving force behind an LGBTQ plus nonprofit in Port Charles, New York, who, upon hearing the leaked recording, distanced themselves from you. Unfortunately, yes. I'm not the driving force part, um, the distancing part. Got it. If you don't mind sharing, what exactly did the organization take issue with? Well, uh, their perspective was that I couldn't be an effective advocate for LGBTQIA plus youth while being in a closeted relationship. And I personally feel like they may have misjudged or, or misinterpreted the situation and I'm really hoping they change their minds. I don't want to speak for Michael, but I doubt he'd want to take a legal stand against his father. Um, even in light of their recent struggles even so and i certainly want no part of any of that so well i understand thank you for hearing me out and thank you for your help with the psa oh, anytime oh, i should get going they're waiting for me upstairs okay good luck not that you'll need it thank you <laughs> reaction was a bit hasty when you say no i wouldn't say if i you must have the shortest memory did you actually think that I would lift even a pinky finger to help you? So we had an argument. An argument? You pretended to be my friend, and then you claimed me all the while you were cozying up to my husband. I don't know how you defeat yourself. I've gotten pretty good at it, actually. For three years, Jason's family thought he was dead. His poor mother mourned him, his children, his friends. I mourned him. And I was very sorry for your loss. And it was all because of a promise you gave him that he would be free if he did what you asked. Well, here we are. Mission completed. Not quite. You asked for the head of Pikeman, and Jason gave him to you. And you repay him by shipping him off to Lompo? Where is the justice in that? You want to talk justice? What about all the charges Morgan skated over the years? That guy should have gone to prison 15 times over, and you know it, Anna. Oh, that's not for you to decide. I gave him an out. Of what? To turn over information on Sonny. Oh. Look, Jason knows enough dirt on Sonny to put him in prison. Now, it is 32 years late, but he would be behind bars until the day he died, and that is some kind of consolation. God, you are a bully. And a coward. You are sending Jason away because he won't help you in your vendetta against Sonny. And how does that make you any better than Corinthos himself? Oh, so now you're defending Sonny Corinthos. You're no longer enforcing the law, John. You are using it for your own ends. You're twisting it into a pretzel so that you can get revenge on Sonny. Now, I, I am all for taking him down, but not at someone else's expense. And I will do everything in my power to stop you. I get a choice in this, too, you know. I'm not saying that you don't. Yes, you are. That's exactly what you're saying, but it's my life. It's my decision. I'm turning myself okay, in. Carly, it's not just your life. I need you to think. That's all I've been doing. I keep thinking about you going to Carly, prison, Jason. Carly, please, you keep that please. From me? 